Think back to your worst nightmare. The feeling of dark isolation and helplessness. The feeling that an evil force controlled your destiny. Perhaps we can compare these emotions with the terror that enclosed the people of Kenai. Peace had been shattered by the domination of an evil demon named Demonicus. His long arms of decimation swept over the lands and burned all life in an inferno of slaughter and destruction. Yet even the worst nightmares offer some hope hope survival. Kanai's fortunes lay in this stunning warrior of indomitable strength. His bravery was renowned throughout the land as he had once saved an entire world from similar destruction. But now his challenge was greater than ever before. The, the insurmountable ferocity of Demonicus was frightening even to our courageous hero. But a real man never shows his fear. And Adol was, in fact, a most gallant soul. He battled Demonicus with equal intensity in this horrific struggle to the death. The skies had his head turned, and the earth shook as Demonicus applied his brutal force and displayed his savage rage. There were to be no prisoners in this holy war of good over evil. Demonicus unleashed his awesome size and strength against our hero, but Adol's cunning wit allowed him to avoid and eclipse all of the aliens' fatal blows. There was more than just a miracle behind this savior of tormented lands. Who could fight such courageous battles and manage to pull victory from such impossible odds? Who was this strange raider of evil foes? His legend and the legend of this land are about to be retold. The adventure is in the spirit of the warrior, and the warrior is you. Go now, Adol, and seek out these dark forces that oppress and terrorize the innocent lives of Kenai. Smell that fresh sea breeze? The ship is in top shape. We're ready to shove off.
What do you think? Do you like my down? Oh, excuse me. Hey, why don't you look where you're going? Say, aren't you Dogi? Elena? I barely recognized you. Dogi, you haven't changed a bit. Very funny, Elena. Tell me, how's your brother, Chester? I haven't seen him in the last few months. I'm sorry, but I'm in a hurry. After so many years, we finally meet again, and now you've got to run? Adel, I'm going ahead to the inn. See you later. Grady is still trapped in the mine. Someone must rescue him. Who are you? Really? A miner called Harvey already went to look for Grady, but we haven't heard from him since he entered the mine.
be okay. Who was that guy? Mayor Grady is still in there somewhere. I tried to find him, but the mine is too big. Take this key to the storehouse, where you will find a hidden sword. Hurry! Only you can help the mayor.
from now on, you'd better mind your own business. You don't understand the power you're dealing with. It will destroy everybody, not just us, but you too, Think Man. Are you still here? I thought I told you to leave. How many times do I have to repeat myself? You are brave to oppose me, boy. This time, I'll let you go. But if you ever get in my way again, I will have no choice but to kill you. Good job, youngin. Who are you? I'm sorry that you're in danger because of me. Let's leave this pit, my boy. Ah! My leg. Could you help me walk? Harvey, what will we do if the mine has been destroyed? Oh, Mayor Grady. I don't know. Your name is Ado. Thank you for saving the mayor. Go now. The villagers must be told that he is safe. You came just in time. There's something I'd like you to do. But first, Elena, could you tell us your story again? I'm afraid to tell this to someone I've just met. But if you trust him, this is about my brother, Chester. It has been half a year since he left Serena. It looks like he's working for King Maguire. I've heard bad rumors about Chester. They say he's been around Alcano Ruins. I found my brother's pendant near the entrance, so, so, so I know he's been there. This might not have anything to do with Elena's story, but a priest named Pierre went to Alcano Ruins yesterday and hasn't returned. Adel, I'd like you to go to the ruins and look for Pierre. I'm concerned about the safety of the village. If you see Chester, tell him that his sister Elena is very worried. Oh, I've forgotten to introduce myself. I'm Elena Studart. It's nice to meet you, Adolf, but I'm sorry to burden you with my problems.
Brother Pierre, you must tell me what you want here. I seem to have lost my way. No need to lie, good brother. You're looking for the statue, aren't you? What the? I think I heard someone up there. You! You were the swordsman I saw in the team, the team, the team, mine. Didn't I warn you not to show your face around here? You! Come with us! Molten lava is flowing down there. No man has ever returned alive. How do you know my name? So you have talked with Elaine. Well, it's my life. What I do has nothing to do with you or Elena. Now, goodbye forever.
could have sworn I heard someone. Chester, what's going on? It's nothing. But I thought I heard someone. It must have been my imagination. Well, be more careful. Tell me, Chester, what will you do about Brother Pierre? He seems to be on to us. So I'm going to lock him up in the dungeon of Valestine Castle. Mr. Marilyn! Yes? The fire dragon Girin has been slain! What? I'll be there immediately! Chester, I don't see how that little boy can give you such a hard time! I'm very sorry. It seems like they've gone. I don't know, but it gives me the creeps. Hey, what's that in the dark? It could be some kind of mechanism. I think this is the way to find the statue. I remember a story my brother used to tell me. He would talk of a flying monster that lived in Alcano ruins. A, a monster that guarded a magical statue. Why? I am the one who brought you here. I can't let you face this danger alone. Thank you. All right, but... Adol, be careful. I'm surprised you've come back alive. I guess I underestimated you. It looks like I'll have to deal with you personally. Chester, no! Elena, what are you doing here? I asked Dadel to stop you from doing any more harm. Please, stop! Why are those statues so important to you? It's my duty. I must get revenge. Surely you remember what happened that day. Adolf, just leave me alone. I don't want to fight. Let's go back to the village, Adolf. Am 
am I glad to see you. I'm leaving for a while. I must climb Mount Seko. I seek my old spiritual master who lives there. I could be gone a long time. Adolf, Mayor Grady gave me a message for you. He must see you. It's urgent. His house is beside the inn. all my boy I'm glad you have come look what has happened youngin someone broke in while I was gone they sure made a mess of my home but nothing is missing I think they were thugs from Palestine Castle they are a statue you found in Tigray mine my boy and for some reason they thought I had it if the statue has something to do with all the creatures that have been roaming around lately then you will be in danger. But we still need your help. You are a great swordsman, and I will put the trust of the entire town in you. What do you say, young'un? Are you game? That's the spirit, Adel, my boy. Here's the first thing I would like you to do. You remember the locked door you found in the mine? Well, it stays locked because beyond it are pits with many fierce monsters. I've heard old stories about that place, and they say another statue rests somewhere inside. I've already sent a party of miners there, my boy, and, and, and I would like you to join them in a search for the magic statue. Here, take this with you, young'un. I hope you will find it useful.
this chest. I think it's awfully weird. What is that noise? Look out! Show me the tablet that was in that chest. The legend is this. A devil called Demanicus once reigned over this land. All who opposed him were exterminated. One young man was skillful enough to rise above the chaos and seal away Demanicus by using the power of the statue. But Demanicus never died. He lives on, even now. I never imagined he could return.
Ready? You must join forces with us. Everything will be ours once we make him return. Because I am a kind man, I will include you. I promise you that if you give us the statue, half of the world will be your kingdom. Doesn't that tempt you? You must be kidding. Listen to yourself, man. And you call yourself a king? Too bad, Grady. I was sure you could be a powerful leader. But now you dare to oppose me. We will have the statue. If you refuse to cooperate, your villagers will be held responsible. Clear out of my way! That was King Maguire of Valestine Castle, my boy. The king himself has finally come to threaten me. I'd better tell you everything, Adel. This is becoming very serious. Listen carefully. An evil being called Demanicus once dominated this land. He was locked away by a brave warrior. Now, King Maguire is trying to unleash Demanicus and use his evil power to conquer neighboring lands. You possess three of the four statues once used to put Demanicus away. King Maguire worried that you will find the fourth statue and banish Demanicus once again. To the north on Mont Seco lives an old hermit. He knows many legends and maybe more about the statues. I'm sorry to get you involved in this, my boy, but with this injured leg, well, you see how it is. Take this letter to the hermit. He may help you. Good luck, young Adel. here. Dogi, is this your companion, Edel? It is fate that we meet now. Come in, my children. We must ponder the future. I see. Those from Valestine Castle are seeking the ancient statues. 
I know one of the statues is hidden here in the caverns of Mount Seco. Legend says it is protected by a powerful force. It is said that the beast which dwells atop these mountains holds powerful magic, a talisman to help enter the caverns. Edo, my child, you are unprepared. Carry the sword with you into battle. you again. Give me those statues. We are victims of the curse of Demanicus. 
Now we are trapped down here together. All right, I'll tell you. A year ago, everyone in my village died. Murdered by that king. Right before my eyes, my friends, neighbors, and parents were butchered. One after another. My sister Elena and I were the only survivors. I started working at Palestine Castle. I was planning to avenge my people when I discovered the plans to re-invoke the curse of Demanicus. King McGuire underestimates the power of the curse. It can destroy Palestine Castle itself. And when it does, I will have my revenge. They will be destroyed by their own ambitions. Hey, did you hear something? Adel, I've come to rescue you. Chester, is that really you? It's me, Dogie. Dogie? Chester, you've changed. Ten years ago, you were a man with many dreams. You used to tell me how you were going to make the land of Kenai the greatest in the world. And now look at you. I want you to stop working for King Maguire and Valestine Castle, Chester. Then maybe things will be like they used to be between us. Dogie. Forgive me. Master, thank you for everything. Be at peace, Dogi. Remember me and return when you are in these lands. Well, Adel, we must leave these cursed mountains. What happened? The town was attacked. All the villagers have been taken hostage. They're being held in Palestine Castle. What? Adel, only you can help them. Go, rescue the villagers. But take this ring with you. It is a parting gift from our master.
out! I was so worried about you. I know you told me to wait, but I had to come for you. This man was going to attack you. So you are Adel. I have heard of the troubles you gave Chester. I see. But who needs King Maguire? Step back!
Germanicus lives again. This human form is no longer necessary. If I get the statues, I'll have absolutely nothing to fear. been foolish. Why did I believe the words of Maryland? That devil! His only purpose was to return his master Demanicus to this world. Soon after Demanicus was revived, hideous monsters overran my beautiful castle. I am lost. My kingdom is falling into chaos and ruin. You must save me. The only hope left is in the power of the four statues. You must act quickly. Take them to the realm of Demanicus and seal him away with their power. Here, take this idol. Its power will aid you and help you to enter into the land of Demanicus. I am responsible for many evil acts. Now it's time to make up for my past and try to correct my errors. Can my people forgive me? Adolf, I'm glad you are safe. Whosoever tries to interfere with my return will suffer dearly. Adol, how do you like this? <coughs> Don't worry. She is not dead. Yet. If you want her to live, bring the four statues to my domain. What's wrong, Adel? Why the long face? You're a hero in these parts. Adel? Where is Elena? Where is she? Adel, you're a fine warrior. Only the truly strongest of men know their own weaknesses. Adol, Mayor Grady may be able to help you save Elena.
Adel, my boy, how can I thank you for all you've done? You had better give me those statues now. Your part is finished, finished, finished. What? Surely someone must go. But whoever goes may not return alive. You are still young. There are many things you haven't learned, my boy. Grady, let Adel go. He is not just a drifter. Adel is an adventurer. I'm sure he knows his life may, may, may be in danger, but there are some things that a man just can't back away from. You should have faith in Adel. Adel, then take this with you. It will be helpful in your fight.
radar. Wait. I'm the one who caused this. You shouldn't die because of my foolishness. Welcome, Adolf. I admire your courage. Demanicus, where is Elena? Take a look right here. Please, stay away! Elena! Let Elena go! She has nothing to do with this! Take me instead! What I need are those statues that Adolf has. I don't need you. Brother and sister dying together. What a nice image. All right, Adolf. See what happens to those who oppose me. Demonicus, prepare to die! I will avenge all those who died by your hand! Chester, don't! Why do you always turn to fighting? Why must there always, always be killing? Both you and Demanicus are living beings with emotions and feelings. Why? Elena, I know only too well. But this is the real world. If we don't kill him, he will kill us. If Demanicus is not not killed, the human race may be destroyed. I hope you are finished with your goodbyes. Because now it is time to die. Crafty boy, aren't you? Step up onto the platform with the statues. begins my reign over the world. As my first act, I will give you a taste of my true power. went to the center of the land of Demonicus. He is going to destroy all of it. No, Adol, don't go! My brother says it's his fault, so he should be the one to deal, 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 Demonicus. Adol, please, of course I care. We lived together for more than 17 years. I believe in my brother. I have faith. He will return. There is one thing I have to tell you. There is a legend in these parts that a long time ago, a brave young man locked Demonicus away. 
the village that my brother and I were born in was founded by the descendants of this brave man. King Maguire feared that his plans to bring back Demonicus would be in danger as long as these descendants lived. That is why he destroyed our village. My brother is the only one left who knows the secret that will crush the world of Demonicus. If Demonicus is to be put away for good, my brother must go. It's all right, Adol, as long as you understand. Should we really leave so soon? Yes, it is best. Adel, I have some final things to do before we leave. Why don't you go on ahead? Adel, must you really leave us? What is it that I may do for you, my boy? You may ask anything. Oh, ho! that's an easy promise. There will be a rich and beautiful city here for your return. I wish you could stay. Where is Dogi? Aren't you leaving together? Elena, are you sure? You'll never meet another fellow like Adel. Are you just going to let him go? If I don't leave now, I won't be able to catch up with Adel. Well, Elena, this is goodbye. What is there for you out there? You should stay here with us. something Adel are you are you are you sure you shouldn't say goodbye to Elena
She's calling you. What are you going to do? How can I ever thank you? I'll never forget what you've done. Your bravery, your kindness, your inspiration. Someday, Adol, someday, I know that I'll be able to see you again. Farewell, Adol.